I'm not Sheldon, I'm the Flash. <laughs> and now I'm going to the Grand Canyon to scream in frustration. I'm back. In this video, you're gonna learn some vocabulary and expressions with a funny Halloween-themed clip from The Big Bang Theory. Ah, oh, Halloween, my favorite and the best time of the year. Whee! Candy! Hi guys, I'm Mae from Fluent U, and this is how it's gonna go down. First, you'll watch the full clip with subtitles. Then, we'll break down key vocabulary and expressions. Finally, you'll watch the full clip one more time, but this time without subtitles. The goal is for you to understand most of the clip by the end of this video lesson. What are you doing? I'm going to be late. I'm pacing nervously. You're jogging. This is how the flash paces. Just chill out, Sheldon. I'm not Sheldon, I'm the Flash. And now I'm going to the Grand Canyon to scream in frustration. I'm back. I'm Batman. Well, I hardly think so. The real Cape Crusader calls his crime-fighting cohorts when he's running late. I had to walk. I couldn't get Raj on the back of my scooter. I said this before and I'll say it again. Aquaman sucks. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. I forget the rest. All right, let's get this thing over with. I'm sorry, but in what universe is Wonder Woman blonde? Relax, no one's gonna be looking at her hair. <laughs> I mean, oh. <laughs> okay, it's time to break it down. I'm pacing nervously. You're jogging. This is how the flash paces. <laughs> I'm pacing nervously. You're jogging. This is how the flash paces. Pacing. Pace is a verb that means to walk from one side to the other, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. Usually because you're annoyed or you're anxious or nervous about something. In this clip, Sheldon is a little nervous because his friends, Raj and Howard, are late. So he's walking from one side to the other. He's pacing. It's funny because we don't usually run when we pace we walk. But since Sheldon is the Flash for Halloween, a superhero known for having super speed, he's running instead of walking. Jogging. A lot of students confuse the verbs jogging and running. Jogging is just a type of run. It's when you're running, but you're slowly running, usually for exercise. Take a look at this example. I love jogging in the mornings. Just chill out, Sheldon. I'm not Sheldon, I'm the Flash. And now I'm going to the Grand Canyon to scream in frustration. I'm back. Just chill out, Sheldon. I'm not Sheldon, I'm the Flash. And now I'm going to the Grand Canyon to scream in frustration. I'm back. Chill out. If you're telling someone to chill out, you're telling them to relax. We usually say this when someone is nervous or anxious, like in Sheldon's case, to get them to calm down. Chill out. The Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is a very famous National American Park located in Arizona. People go there to hike and other general outdoor activities. Scream. If you scream, then you say or you cry something very loudly. Good Lord, how you frustrate me, let her not stand Usually because of strong emotions like fear, excitement, or like in Sheldon's case, frustration. Frustration. But what is frustration? Frustration comes from the adjective frustrated. And it's something you feel when you are particularly annoyed. <laughs> oh, 
for example. <laughs> because you can't achieve or you can't do what you want to do. For example, I frequently recommend my students and you guys to watch videos online because I know how important it is to learn English with real world context. But I get super frustrated because the subtitles are frequently wrong. This is exactly why I'm so grateful that FluentU exists. It's a huge database that features music videos, TV shows, movies, and much more, and the subtitles are always right. Plus, they are interactive. When you don't understand something, just click on it and FluentU will give you context-specific definitions. And there are quizzes along with speaking questions after each video. If you're serious about learning English, you should definitely take advantage of the free 14-day trial in the description box below. I promise that you will learn so much with FluentU in just 14 days. I'm Batman. <laughs> I hardly think so. The real Cape Crusader calls his crime-fighting cohorts when he's running late. I'm Batman. Well, I hardly think so. The real Cape Crusader calls his crime-fighting cohorts when he's running late. I hardly think so. Us native speakers use I hardly think so when we're responding to something that we think is hard to be a possibility. So something that isn't likely. For example, do you think it'll rain this afternoon? I hardly think so. It's been sunny all day today and the forecast shows a 1% chance. So in this clip, it's hard for Sheldon to see Howard as Batman. I can't imagine why. Caped Crusader. Caped Crusader is just another name Batman is called. Caped because he wears a cape. Crusader because he's on a crusade or a mission to defeat all of the criminals of Gotham City. He's not doing a really good job. Cohorts. The meaning of cohort is like a companion or an associate. Batman's cohorts or companions are the Flash, the Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Superman. Together, they fight crime. <coughs> is running late. If you are running late, then you are not on time. In other words, you're behind schedule. But what's the difference between saying you are late and you are running late? Let's see with this example. I'm late for a meeting. Here, the meeting has already started and I'm clearly not there. I'm running late for the meeting. In this case, the meeting hasn't started yet, but I'll probably be late. I have to walk. I couldn't get Raj on the back of my scooter. <laughs> I've said this before and I'll say it again. Aquaman sucks. I had to walk. I couldn't get Raj on the back of my scooter. I've said this before and I'll say this again. Aquaman sucks. Had to. Had to is the past form of the idiom have to. We use it when we want to express that it's necessary to do something. So you need to do it. You have to do it. Here's an example. You have to download the free PDF in the link below if you don't want to forget these awesome vocabulary words and expressions. Get. I feel like in literally every video I explain the verb get and it always has a different meaning. Context is everything. Here, get means to make someone or something move to a different place or position, but with some difficulty. Take a look at Raj's costume. There's just no way he could fit on the back of a scooter. Here's another example. It's always hard to get myself out of bed early in the mornings. Sucks. Suck is a slang for saying that something is bad. Here's an example. The last season of Game of Thrones sucked. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane.
I forget the rest. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing over with. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. I forget the rest. All right, let's get this thing over with. Look up. If you look up, then you move your eyes to a higher place, usually towards the sky. But be careful, because in a different context, look up can also mean the verb to research. For instance, when you look up a word on FluentU, you will always see context-specific meanings and examples. It's a bird. It's a plane. This is a famous and well-known line from the original Superman series. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Yes, it's Superman! In this clip, it's funny because Penny's boyfriend forgot the easiest part of the line. It's Superman. Get this thing over with. We use the phrasal verb get over with when we want to complete or finish a boring and unpleasant but necessary task usually because it's not something we want to do. Like me with broccoli. I always try to get it over with and eat everything all at once. I'm sorry, but in what universe is Wonder Woman blonde? Relax, no one's gonna be looking at her hair. <laughs> but in what universe is Wonder Woman blonde? Relax, no one's gonna be looking at her hair. Ow, I mean, ow. In what universe? This is a hyperbole or an exaggeration. It's used to show that something is highly improbable. Here, this rhetorical question is used to show Sheldon's discontent at Penny's dedication to her costume. Wonder Woman has brown hair while Penny has blonde hair. Mean. You probably already know the adjective mean, but in this case, when mean is used as a verb, it describes something that you intend to stay. I mean, say. See what I did there? Now let's see how much you've learned. Let's go to part three. <laughs> What are you doing? We're going to be late. I'm pacing nervously. You're jogging. This is how the Flash paces. Just chill out, Sheldon. I'm not Sheldon, I'm the Flash. And now I'm going to the Grand Canyon to scream in frustration. I'm back. I'm Batman. Well, I hardly think so. The real Cape Crusader calls his crime-fighting cohorts when he's running late. I had to walk. I couldn't get Raj on the back of my scooter. <laughs> I've said this before and I'll say it again. Aquaman sucks. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. I forget the rest. Over with. I'm sorry, but in what universe is Wonder Woman blonde? Relax, no one's gonna be looking at her hair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. Now that you've mastered this clip, you are ready for a new challenge. What better way to get into the Halloween spirit than with Stranger Things? Join me in this video where you'll learn some English and also some terrible relationship advice. Steve is one of my favorite characters, but the advice he gives Dustin is just... I don't know where guys get this. 